Hey folks, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is on customary units of length. Okay, let's go ahead and get started there. Here's our common core strand, and then so our essential questions. How can we use models to compare customary units of length? So in America, we use things like rulers and, and feet and inches and yards. So we'll talk about those in this lesson. So we can use a ruler to measure length. So a ruler that is one foot long shows is, is 12 inches in, in a foot. Okay, so here's one inch, here's two inch, three inch, all the way to there's 12 inches in this one foot uh, ruler. Okay, I'm going to shrink that up right there because uh, three of them, three of them make up what's called a yardstick. A yardstick, a ruler that is three feet long is called a yardstick. Stick, sorry. So uh, here's a one foot, two foot, three foot right there, and then and then so all of them together makes up a yard, which is a yard stick right here. And a yard stick has 36 inches because there's 12 inches here, 12 inches here, which makes 24. And you probably can't see it, but there's a little 24 right there. And then plus 12 more, 12 plus 24 is 36 uh, inches altogether right there. Okay, so how does the size of a foot compare to the size of an inch? Okay, well let's go ahead and uh, uh, and build some things here and we're going to compare uh, the size of a foot to the size of an inch. So you're going to need some uh, one inch grid paper, some scissors, and some tape here. So there's some one inch grid paper. I had a lot more. I could fill up this whole page with that. But I only need to cut out 12 of them, you guys, and there's plenty here, right here. It looks like there's 24 right here. So I just need to cut out 12 uh, of the paper inch tiles, and we're going to label them uh, each an inch. So I'm going to cut those out right there. There's 12 of them right there, and we're going to label them all an inch. So here they are all cut out right there, okay? So they're all spread out and nice and cut out right there. Okay, so now we're going to place the 12 tiles end to end to build a foot, okay? So... So we're just going to slide this down, and we're going to build a foot end to end. We'll just keep going. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I have it on the next slide right there. So there's two, and we'll just keep going. There's three, and we're going to uh, make them all go all the way across to make uh, 12 of them right there, okay? So there's one foot. All 12 of them makes one foot right there. Let me slide that up to the top right there. Okay, so uh, compare the size of a foot to the size of an inch. Okay, so there's the foot, and there's an inch right there. Well, can you see that this inch, we're going to need 12 of them right here to make the foot right there. So, um, uh, one foot is how many times as long as one inch? It is 12 times as long as one inch. So, we've now compared it. So, how many inches would we need to make a yard? Well, we kind of talked about that earlier, you guys. Well, so since there are three feet in the yard and 12 inches in each foot, then we can just multiply 3 times 12 to get 36 inches. Or we can add 12 plus 12 plus 12. That's also 36 inches. So 3 times 12 is the same as 12 plus 12 plus 12. Okay? All right. So uh, Jaden has uh, 4 feet of string. She needs 50 inches to make some necklaces. How can she determine if she has enough string to make the necklaces? Okay. So uh, since 1 foot is 12 times as long as uh, 1 inch, we can uh, write feet as inches by just multiplying uh, the number of feet by 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot and then we'll compare that with uh, 50 inches right here okay so um, uh, let's see I just moved it up right there so let's make a table that relates uh, the feet and inches right here okay so here's a table that relates relates feet and inches okay so here each foot represents 12 inches so 12 would be, uh, I'm sorry, 2 feet would be another 12 right here. So 2 times 12 would give us, what's 2 times 12? Or 12 plus 12, what's 12 plus 12? It's 24, okay? So 3 uh, feet would be, well, we've already talked about that. 3 feet would be 3 times 12, which would be 36. 4 feet would be 4 times 12, which is 48, okay? You'll see why we did 5 feet in just a second. So 5 feet is... Um, uh, 5 times 12, which is 60. Okay, now remember up here, Jaden has 4 feet of string, which is right here, 4 feet of string. She needs 50 inches to make some necklaces. How can she determine if she has enough? Well, let's take a look down here. 4 feet is 48 inches, and we need 50 inches. Is she going to have enough right there? So we're going to go ahead and compare the 4 feet and 50 inches. Okay, so 4 feet equals 48 inches. 50 inches is just 50 inches, so what's bigger, 48 or 50? Well, 50 is bigger, so the bigger end of my inequality is going to go this way. It's going to point towards the 48, so 48 is less than 50. So, uh, Jaden has 4 feet of string. She needs 50 inches of string, so 4 feet is less than 50 inches, and so Jaden 
does not have enough string to make the necklaces. Okay. Well, explain how making the table helped us solve the problem. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. By making the table, it helped us find the number of inches in a foot, then in two feet, then three feet, then four feet, even five feet. So we then use that information to compare four feet, which was 48 inches, with the 50 inches, and we found out she didn't have enough um, have enough string for her for her necklaces. What if Jaden had five feet of string? Would she have enough string to make her necklaces then? Well, five feet, remember, was 60 inches, you guys. So we did that earlier. So Jaden needs 50 inches. And since 60 inches was greater than 50 inches, if she had five feet of string, then she'd have enough to make her necklaces on that. All right, you guys, take care.